So hello and welcome everyone to this new video tutorial. My name is Shivam and today in this video we will understand about types of blockchain. So in our previous videos we understand about blockchain technology and how it basically works. Now in this video we will understand about different types of blockchain. So without any further delay let's move to agenda for this video. So in this video we will understand about different types of blockchain. So first we will understand about public blockchain then we will look at some of the advantages and disadvantages of using public blockchain then we will move to the second type of blockchain that is private blockchain and again for this also we will cover different advantages and disadvantages and for the third type we will cover the hybrid blockchain and for the fourth type we will cover the consortium blockchain so by the end of this video we will learn about four different types of blockchain now before we move to the very first topic let me tell you that we provide both type of resources so if you are fond of watching videos so you can subscribe to our youtube channel for more similar videos and press the bell icon to get the latest notifications so other than videos we also have a detailed article related to this topic so if you are fond of reading the link of that article will be available in the description box so if you are fond of reading you can navigate to this article and read out all the information in very much detail now let's come back to our video and let's move forward to our very first topic. So first let's understand about different types of blockchain. So at very base there are only four types of blockchain. So very first one is the public blockchain which is open to the public. Second one is the private blockchain. After this uh, there is a hybrid blockchain which is a combination of both public as well as private one and at fourth there is a another type that is consortium blockchain we can consider consortium as a special type of private blockchain we will cover that later in this video now all these four types of blockchain have certain similarities so let's understand that so every blockchain consists of a group of nodes connected in a peer-to-peer -peer network so in all the types of blockchain peer-to-peer -peer network is a common characteristic after this each node in the network holds a copy of the shared ledger now shared ledger is the place where all the transactions have been recorded or stored or we can simply say that the ledger is the place where data has been recorded and this ledger gets updated on regular basis. After this each node has the ability to validate transaction, send and receive transactions and create blocks and add them to the blockchain. So these were the three common characteristics that are there in all these types of blockchain. Now let's move to the very first type of blockchain that is public blockchain. So as the name specifies public blockchain is the blockchain which is open to the public. It is not owned by anyone. Moreover anyone who has access to the internet can sign in and participate as a node in the decision making process. All the users in the public blockchain holds a copy of the ledger on their local nodes. So we can also uh, call public blockchain as permissionless blockchain and an authorized user in this type of blockchain network have access to the past and current records. So in a nutshell a public blockchain network is open to everyone. No one controls it. With the help of internet we can sign in and participate as a node and we can part of that blockchain. And once we become a participant we will get access to all the records that are there in the blockchain. Now let's un let's see the example for that. So very common examples related to public blockchain includes Bitcoin, Ethereum or we can say Litecoin is also there. Next let's move to the next topic and understand some of the advantages of using public blockchain. So first thing uh, our public blockchains are transparent in nature uh, that is they are open to everyone so anyone over the internet can participate in the network and once we participate a copy of all the blockchain record is maintained in our local systems. So the second advantage of public blockchain is trustable. So in public blockchain nodes or participants don't need to worry about other nodes in the network. Because of their different algorithms or methods that a blockchain can use to assure there is no fraud. So as we know blockchain utilizes consensus mechanism to make the data in sync for all the nodes. It uses cryptography, it uses SHA-256 hashing. These all things make a public blockchain trustable. Now the third advantage of using a public blockchain is, is its security. So public blockchain networks are usually large in size because they, they are open to the public and, and due to this uh, larger size of the network the greater the distribution of the records and it will be harder for the hacker to hack. 
so due to this network size it will be very hard for an hacker to tamper the data or tamper the blockchain which makes the public blockchain much more secure now let's move to the next topic and understand some of the disadvantages as well so low transaction processing is one of the main disadvantages of public blockchain the rate of transaction per second is quite low in public blockchains the main reason behind this is the size of the blockchain network like there are many nodes in the network and verification of transactions and proof of work from each node takes uh, time it is a time consuming process now due to this uh, low transaction process is scalability is also the main issue now if we want to increase the size of our blockchain then nodes will increase and again the transaction processes become slower after this the third main disadvantage of public blockchain uh, is that uh, they are high energy consumption so most of the public blockchains utilizes a uh, proof of work consensus algorithm and this proof of work algorithm is a high consuming process uh, it basically requires uh, specialized hardware components to execute a special algorithm and it is a problem from both environmental and financial aspect now let's move to the next topic next let's understand about the second type of blockchain that is private one no private as the term i guess it it is quite clear that the private blockchain is a type of blockchain that is not open to the public they are only open to a group of participants who have decided to share the ledger between them these blockchains are restrictive or we can also call them as permission blockchains they are operated only in a closed network so in very simple terms uh, a private blockchain is a blockchain which is not open to the public it is been implemented in a closed network so these are typically used within a company or an organization where a few people are allowed to participate in this blockchain network now the uh, examples related to uh, private blockchain includes ripple multi chain and hyperledger next let's look at some of the advantages of private blockchain so very first advantage of private blockchain is its speed so in private blockchain the size of the network is small due to which the rate of transaction per second is high as we compare it to the public blockchain and the main reason behind this is the limited number of nodes in the private blockchain the second advantage of private blockchain is their scalability so private blockchains are much more scalable as compared to public blockchains for example if a group of 10 people started their public blockchain and if they want to scale it up to 50 people they can easily scale it up next let's understand about some of the disadvantages of using private blockchain so very first disadvantage is is the centralized approach of private blockchain so in private blockchains we generally need to use central identity and ss management system now these these systems helps in monitoring and administrative tasks related to blockchain but due to this uh, the decentralized aspect some somewhere misses out in the private blockchain the second disadvantage related to private blockchain is its security now in private blockchain the number of nodes in the network becomes less they are limited due to this this type of blockchain is more vulnerable and the third main uh, disadvantage of private blockchain is trust building so in private blockchain basically authorized nodes must be trusted to verify and validate genuine transactions now let's move to the next topic next let's understand about hybrid blockchain so hybrid blockchain is basically a combination of both public as well as private blockchain in in this blockchain a selected portion of data in the blockchain can be made public while keeping the rest private Additionally a transaction in hybrid blockchain is usually verified by a private network but a transaction can also be distributed in the public network for verification so if we basically require the functionality related to both private as well as public blockchain we can go with the hybrid blockchain now let's move to the next type so the next type is the consortium blockchain now consortium blockchain can also be known as federated blockchain so this blockchain is an innovative method for solving organizations need to want both public as well as private blockchain together so in consortium blockchain some part of the blockchain is public whereas some part is private in the private blockchain 
what we do basically only one organization is involved in managing the whole blockchain but in custodium more than one organization manages the blockchain so this type of blockchain is basically used by we can say financial organizations government and banks are also use case for them so this bring us to the end of this video in this video uh, we learned about different types of blockchain we have seen uh, what is public blockchain what are the various advantages of public as well as private blockchain we understood what is a hybrid blockchain and we also look at the fourth type that was consortium blockchain so if you really like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to our youtube channel for more tutorials like this and thanks for watching